looking all clean, much needed. She has been extremely, extremely dirty. Let's do a quick walk around. As you guys can tell, changed up the tail lights a little bit. If you guys follow me on my Instagram, I put up a poll and most of you guys all wanted this. So comment below, let me know what you guys think. I think it looks awesome though. But yeah, much needed wash. So she is all clean. Do a quick little walk around. So as you guys saw, the way I aired the car out, we have these little nozzles for those of you guys that don't know. Right there and right there. So that's gonna be like the rear and that's the front right there. So we have those for now because as you guys know, the management is not, well actually we don't even have a management in the car at all. So that's how we're airing it up and down with that compressor right there. But uh, yeah, it works though. At least I can get the car in and out of the driveway for the most part. All right guys, the rest of this video is gonna be a little bit of a sit down uh, talking video. I'm gonna try to make it fairly quick though. I don't wanna just ramble on too long because it is extremely hot in this garage and I don't wanna be in here long. Um, but I wanna talk about future plans uh, for the channel. Uh, now, as a lot of you guys know, I got, I didn't get hit, but I did um, kind of wreck the rear quarter panel. For those of you guys who did watch that video, I know it's not um, horrible, but it is to the point where it will need to be obviously fixed, body worked, and that panel will need to be um, repainted and clear coated. Um, so that kind of led me into, oh, not only that, but also as you guys know, the manifold or the ECU to the manifold, we, which I have AccuWare switch speed, very old, very basic, um, that went out. So that's why I'm airing out the car the way I am and airing it up. Um, so for the most part, I haven't been taking this car out on the road at all because it's kind of scary because if I were to get a leak, there's nothing that I can do about it. I can't just air the car up. I have to find a compressor. Uh, so <clears throat> for the most part, the car has been just staying put right here. Um, so future plans, now that we have those two issues, I asked you guys, what do you think we should do? Should we just continue to work on this car, fix everything that needs to be done, or get a Nissan hard body and stance it out and have two cars on the channel? Now that is something that I really want. Um, for those of you who are my OG subscribers, Back before I even had this car, uh, we had my LS400. I was actually looking into getting a Nissan hard body, and I came very close to pulling the trigger on a couple of them, but it just didn't work out. That was over a year ago. That was, I wanna say, close to two years ago. Um, I really, really love the truck. I really want a truck. They're so basic, parts are so cheap. They're so much fun. I really, really want one, and we can haul parts around and just, there's just so many reasons why I really want one. Um, a lot of you guys were kind of back and forth, fix this, uh, get the truck. So this is what I decided on. And I've decided on this because I feel like um, in my gut, my gut is telling me to go this route and I'm gonna listen to my gut. Um, so I think what we're gonna do, or actually I don't think, what we are going to be doing is I'm gonna be ordering soon the airlift 3p for this so that's going to be a massive massive upgrade from what i had uh, for those of you guys that don't know switch speed is very basic there are no presets or really anything at all you just have to guess where you're aired up at um, and that's pretty much that so um, we're going to be doing the 3p and then we're going to be moving on to phase two of this car I don't want to say really much of anything yet, but I will say some very drastic changes are going to be going down with this car. Um, I'm extremely excited about it. I know you guys are going to be as well because those videos actually did very good when I did have them. Um, again, I'm not going to say what they are, but phase two is coming. So some drastic outside changes. I'm going to be doing some engine based stuff. I'm going to be doing some interior. Um, like I said, we're gonna have the Airlift 3P, and then from there, we can start hitting up the car meets again. Um, so so the car building, rebuilding phase two is gonna be content, going up to car meets, car shows, that's all gonna be content. Um, I have a few other people that I kinda recently started talking to, 350Zs, G35s, um, that we're gonna be meeting up, and so that's also gonna be some more content as well in that end. Um, and then from there, we'll kind of just keep kind of just, you know, kind of just rolling 
rolling, going with the flow, basically. And um, whatever we can make content on, we are. I am planning on also buying, uh, I don't know which one yet, but I either want to get a pocket bike or I'm going to buy like a little uh, 50. Um, something that we can kind of just, you know, make our own little muffler or do this or do that. Some, some little fun content type stuff and something we can just kind of cruise around in the neighborhood. So I think that's going to be pretty dope. I think a lot of you guys will really enjoy that. Uh, just something fun for the channel. And who knows, maybe we can even throw it in the trunk somehow and bring it to uh, um, some car meets and car shows and kind of just cruise around. Maybe modify it to match the car. I don't know. But comment down below and let me know what you guys think of that. Now, as far as the truck, I really want one um, for several reasons. One, it's a four-cylinder. This is a six-cylinder, which, I mean, it's good on gas for the most part. But a four-cylinder, I think, will just be much better for a daily. Two, I can haul stuff around. So when I need to pick up parts, I don't need to keep trying to borrow people's cars, try to squeeze it in this. I could literally, I'll have a truck, plenty of space. Uh, three, it's going to be manual transmission. As you guys know, this car is an auto, but we do plan on swapping this out in the future as well. For sure, at some point, this car will be manual transmission, but the truck is going to be manual. I'm going to buy that straight up. So I'm excited about that. I can teach my girlfriend how to drive stick shift and uh, it's just, it's going to be a lot of fun camping in it, all of that good stuff. It's just, I'm super excited for it. Um, <clears throat> and everything that we're going to do on that truck is going to be done right here in the garage. Same thing with this, for the most part. Um, it's gonna be more of a budget, very, very budget build. Like this car, I, it may not look like it, but this car was definitely a budget build as well. Uh, aside from, you know, getting the paint job professionally done and whatnot, but for the most part, everything was done on this car, which technically made it a budget build. But the truck is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be very budget, um, super cheap, um, but it's gonna look really really good um, so I think that'll be cool for a lot of you guys who I know reach out to me like man I wish I can do these things to my car blah 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 but I don't have that much money well for the truck I think that's gonna be a lot of fun because I can show you guys kind of like tips and tricks and and whatnot to save money for your car um, so I'm super excited about that so what I want to do is I really really do want that truck bad so I'm gonna leave it in your guys's hands uh, I know the channel's growing and we really do need to bring on a second car because not only for all the reasons I want the truck, but it's also going to be a great investment for my channel. I really want to grow my channel. At one point, I would love to have my own little shop uh, just for me and my friends to work at and make content. And um, at some point, I would like several cars um, for the channel, you know, so one week this, one week that, one day this, one day that type thing, you know. So I want to leave it up to you guys. Uh, I, like I said, I know the channel is growing, but I think like right now, let's see. Right now we are at, we are at almost 4,300 subscribers. We're at 4,280 subscribers. When this video drops, by the way, 10 more subscribers, guys. Smash that subscribe button. Let's see 4,300 subscribers. And like I said, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. The quicker we can grow, the quicker we are going to bring another project into this garage. So what I want to do is, at, let's see, realistically, because that's not that short around the corner. Yeah, 43, 4, 5, let's say at 5,500 subscribers. So 5,500 subscribers, we are going to buy a truck. And if we can hit 5K, I mean like, bam super quick maybe we'll get it sooner but let's say 5500 subscribers smash that subscribe button and we will buy the truck and we will have another project car going down for the channel i think that's awesome i think it's doable i know we can hit it quick because you all are absolutely amazing please hit it quick because even though there's so many different phases i want to do with this car uh it's to the point where i kind of just want to take a break with it and enjoy it and have another car. So I'm gonna need your guys' help. Most of you guys already are watching my channel and you're not even subscribed. So smash that subscribe button, it's free, it helps me out and I can promise you guys some absolutely amazing content is to come. But I can't do it without your guys' help. So please help me out, subscribe, hit that thumbs up, share my videos. 
let's grow a community, let's get even stronger, um, and let's just grow overall as a family. So I'm super excited for it. But until we hit that, like I said, guys, stay tuned for phase two. Definitely airlift 3P is one thing we're gonna be doing for this car, something drastic. I'm gonna give you a hint, it's gonna be in the rear end. We're gonna be changing that up. Um, like I said, engine bay, interior, trunk, um, I would like to get new wheels in the future, but there's there's a lot of things that I really want to do. But some a, a big drastic change is aside from the airlift. That's the first thing that we're gonna be doing. Uh, I'm so excited. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, "What?" As soon as you see the video, like, "What the heck?" It was perfect. Why? But it's gonna be even better. So. Let's make it happen, guys. 5,500 subscribers. We're gonna buy a second car for the for the channel, and phase two is literally just around the corner, guys. Stay tuned for it. That's all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like I said, please leave a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Also comment, what are some other things that you guys would like to see for this car that's not major, such as like turbos or motor swap and all that types of stuff, because like I said, we have other, we have a specific order we're for the most part going in and um we can't blow too much because we also want to get the truck in the future um so comment down below though what are some for the most part mild things that you guys would like to see uh on for the car and yeah but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and until next time guys as always peace out